An interesting video. Neil Desai, fellow anime reaction channel. Please check his channel out. Title called I Loved ReZero, but dot dot seven days ago. Uh oh. And boys on YouTube, we're back at it again with another video. Today's not. Let me guess. Algorithm, basically, his audience does not care for ReZero. Therefore, he cannot cover it since every upload, it tanks his algorithm and it just sends bad signals. It's gonna be a reaction video. It's more of a serious video about ReZero. So we have a little thing, you know, I feel like. All right. I started watching ReZero. I love it, right? I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching on Cake as well as Patreon knows I love it. But, okay. but sadly, pe like, people on YouTube are enjoying it, but the algorithm is just not there. The videos are just doing... They're breaking records. They really are breaking records, right? Just the wrong records. <laughs> it's like... That's not good. <laughs> breaking records? What kind of records? Oh, the, the, the bad records. And that's the thing, man. This is just the bullshit fucking YouTube analytics. And just as like, I feel for him because this is the bane of every fucking reaction channel on YouTube. And the nature of reaction content is very like, it's very counterintuitive. In fact, I, you guys think that reaction channels are just easy to just make. It honestly is not. And it's one of the most tricky things to do successfully, right? I don't think that my channel is quote unquote successful in any metric just yet. We're definitely at the end of the early game and trying to get into the mid game and things are getting better. We've been averaging, you know, a little bit above a million views per month through, you know, long form content alone. But, you know, not every video is going to do well. Like Fate Zero, for example, I just uploaded this six minutes ago. 27 views six minutes ago is fucking sad, pathetic. A ReZero video is going to have a couple hundred by now because people just don't care for Fate Zero in my audience, right? And same with Neil Desai. Even though the anime themselves are amazing, the fucking audience that the algorithm has deemed to be your audience, that initial check, when they don't watch, it just like falls off and it's really hard to keep going. And not only that, when you continue to co produce content on a daily basis, uh, let's say he's doing a ReZero marathon, right? Every day, you're sending bad signals to the YouTube algorithm. Every day, the algorithm is like, huh, your regular audience that enjoys these other shows, like what, is, what else is he watching right now? I think he's watching like Overlord? Right? Let's see. Uh, Overlord, Dragon Ball, Overlord, right? Seven Deadly Sins, like these do well, but every ReZero content is just gonna fuck the signals for the algorithm. What does that do? It's going to then suppress your overall reach to a wider audience in the long term. So committing to something that performs bad on a consistent basis is only gonna kill your channel. Most people then take that shit to the Patreon exclusive side, right? Where um, now we can enjoy it, but it doesn't tank the YouTube analytics. Or some people will do like multiple episodes in one video to limit the amount of L's that you take, right? Rather than having three separate L's of low performing videos, you could combine three episodes in one video and just take one gigantic L, I guess. These are some common strategies that I've seen other reaction channels execute. Like YouTube has a thing where it shows you like how good your video does with yep. the, compared to the last 10 videos that you, you've yep. uploaded on the Let channel. Let me show you mine actually. And every time I look at it, it's like constantly breaking record after record after mm. record, but it's breaking records for getting the least amount of views. Yeah. So every ReZero upload that I do, it's always 10 out of 10, which is again, the lowest Bad. of the lowest videos out of and that's so interesting how his audience is the exact opposite to mine, right? It's, it's so fascinating how my ReZero videos, every video, it's a 1 out of 10, right? Every fucking ReZero I upload, like last night, right? It, it Just look at the viewership difference. I know that, you know, this is 10 hours, 8 hours, 6 hours, 15 hours. But even here, right? This is supposed to be a monumental Fate Zero episode. It's Ryder versus Gilgamesh. 15 hours ago, 2.1k. And this episode of ReZero, which wasn't even that high performing, right this one got 3.4k it just shows you that people don't really give a fuck as much compared to ReZero, and it just shows you that the audience for reaction content is so diverse and at the end of the day what you have to do is understand who your audience is what they want and deliver content on that and try to minimize the content that your audience doesn't resonate with and for neil Desai, it's unfortunate it's ReZero. all the videos that i've uploaded recently right and it breaks the record by getting even less views this time around and then tomorrow it'll get even less views less yeah. views less views and i really tried i really tried to upload it we did daily uploads we even did a mega episode drop today right 
it just it just nothing's gonna save it there's no trick that you can do to suddenly relight the fire that you think is gone because there is no fire right like trying to do other tricks i'm not, I'm not saying neil doesn't notice but i'm explaining to you guys like once a chat what 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 like how many monkeys were sitting around in that other video right where i literally said look fate's not cooking and there's not gonna be where the, where the fuck is this video? i upload goddamn way too many fucking videos bro I can't believe how delusional our monkeys are. Remember this video, bro? Remember the breakdown I've shown you explaining why Fate's like Listen, doing this is not you know, gonna be like the fucking... best graph in the world. You know, we know, remember this video I made, and there's like motherfuckers that's like writing, that's like, oh man, Fate Zero, just wait, bro, just just wait for the last fucking uh, half of Fate Zero. What's gonna happen, right? Nothing happens. We're in the fucking last couple episodes of Re uh, Fate Zero right now, bro. It's not picking up because there is nothing to pick up. The audience never existed. How could you possibly expect a show that had no interest in the beginning to suddenly do well later on? It doesn't magically just happen like that. Your audience either is there or they're not. And it is pointless to try to like drag on this show in hopes that like it's going to pick up later. It just doesn't happen. Sadly doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So again, as far as re zero goes, we're going to be making it Patreon exclusive. Smart. For now. For now. Uh, again, because, you know, we are done watching all of season one. We're actually starting season two tomorrow on Kick and Patreon. If you want to, again, link down in the description to Kick. I'm actually live right now. We're, as you can tell, we're live as of you're you watching this video because I'm doing a subathon and I still have 209 hours left. So, yeah, again, go check it out. Uh, but, yeah, I think uh, ReZero for now will be made, uh, you know, into a Patreon slash stream exclusive. And then once the season it's three comes out, it's it. actually good. And if, the, if it brings the hype back, I, I will try re-uploading Rezo again. Yeah, and when the hype is back, when the trends are back, here's the thing. Neil can then try it, and then even though his own community, which is obviously not there for the Rezero audience, there's going to be tourists, right? There's going to be tourists seeking out that content. is going to be trending, and a bunch of random tourists that are not community members could watch those videos, and he could try to appease them and eventually turn them into community members, and that's how you kind of build that audience for that type of show. And then hopefully it does better that time. But yeah, it just sucks because I tried so hard to make it work. I even today's video, like I, I spent $150 to get that video edited and just for it to. That's another thing that like, and I know for a fact there's going to be retards in this video commenting about how selfish these anime reaction channels are that you only do this for the money. Guess what, idiot? You have no understanding of how this game fucking works. We have to spend money to get this shit edited. And then every video that doesn't perform well, do you know what that means? That means that the audience doesn't care for it. You are now making content for an audience that doesn't exist, while the audience that does exist are confused on where is the content that I want. And then these selfish monkeys, who are the outliers, are saying, oh, you only care about the views, you only care about the anime. No, you are the selfish one that's projecting your own fucking idiocy, like, just, just uh, these, like, insecurities onto us, saying, like, oh, well, you're not, like, ReZero fan, therefore, you, you must be fucking selfish. No, dude, I'm trying to make sure that the majority are satisfied. You are in the minority, and I appreciate that you enjoy the specific content, but for you to call the creator fucking selfish because they're trying to appease a bigger audience, rather than you, the fucking minority. It's just the argument makes no fucking sense. You have no understanding of how YouTube works. And I guarantee you, you're going to be fucking commenting that shit. You're going to get immediately fucking banned to do awful. Matter of fact, it not only did awful in views and, you know, just the fact that I, lo I lose money every time I upload ReZero. And I know it sucks because I know like, the last time I made a video. Not only are you losing money for every ReZero video that you edit and then it gets published and it does perform bad and that itself is also then tanking the analytics and then the opportunity cost, it's like a negative opportunity cost where you don't have a tan you don't have this value but the more you take L's, your future projections on how your channel is going to do is going to suffer, right? But these kids don't understand the nature of the game on social media right they have no understanding about youtube works so the stupidest thing and the most selfish thing that they say is that the anime reaction channels are selfish for chasing the views not chasing the views idiot the views are a byproduct of you understanding who the audience is and delivering content that aligns with their interests you are in the minority you do not fucking matter and you're crying because your own selfish desi uh, desires to get reserve on there isn't you know being con produced and then you come in saying that there's in like they're selfish it's like how does that logically fucking make sense about this on tokyo Ghoul, people are like who gives a fuck about you and your money if you were loyal to the fandom you would this is the thing 
people are so fucking generous with other people's money and time. These retards, and I covered that community post, you know, when Neil, Neil literally made a community post saying, explaining what's going on. And there's these selfish idiots that's like, you only care about the views, you only care about the money, you don't care about this anime. Listen, you know who doesn't care about the anime? My fucking audience right now that's begging for every new, you know, fucking uh, Reezer episode for Neil, right? They want something else. Like, how can you not recognize that? Because you're stupid. You're stupid and you don't know what you're talking about would upload it you guys got to realize this is my job and what kind of job you know like do you want to go to work and then pay your boss or is it the other way around you know like who again people are so selfish and people are so generous with other people's money and time i guarantee you, if you're put in the same position you wouldn't fucking hesitate to do what we're doing who wants to go to work and pay the other person the money you know Crazy what i mean shit. it's like i'm working putting my time in just to lose money you know, so again, that sucks. And I really tried. I really, really, really did. I did everything that I could, but it just doesn't. And today's video literally is the biggest thing. Like I even did a huge drop. Like I probably like, what was it? Episode 7 to 11 all the way in. Yes, it was supposed to be a joke, right? Because 7-Eleven, I'm Indian, right? Oh, I thought we we're going to do a September joke, but OK, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, aside the point, right? But I actually lost subs on that video. So it's like I was better off before uploading that video than I was. Remember, every video that performs bad doesn't mean that video is bad. It means you're, you're making videos for an audience that doesn't care. And the more you shove down content down the throats of an audience that doesn't care, they're going to fucking leave. And it's in our best interest to side with the majority. Because after, not only did I lose views, I lost money and I lost subs. So wow, for an Indian, his accent is pretty nice. That has got to be the most backhanded, fucking subtly racist comment I've ever seen in my fucking life. That's insane that you would even fucking type that. It's like almost no point in, you know, doing it currently. So again, it will be Patreon exclusive. And uh, like I said, you know, with Tokyo Ghoul and 86 and stuff, a lot of these shows, I really want... You're being nice? No, you're being racist. You're being racist and you're fucking embarrassed of yourself and you're justifying in your head how that's not racist. That's crazy. Wow, for a woman, you drive well. What race are you? Aren't you like Latin American? I could say the fucking same shit. Wow, for a fucking Mexican, you do a nice fucking job in my landscaping job. See how that feels? Why does the race matter? Why would you even say that? Think before you fucking type, idiot. Enjoy watching them. So instead of dropping them, what I'm just going to start doing is if, if a show doesn't do good on YouTube, we're still going to keep watching it on Patreon, right? It'll just be a Patreon exclusive for people that want to watch it on do. there. That way it doesn't hurt the YouTube channel and I can still keep watching what I love watching and we can keep doing it, right? So again, it sucks. Like I said, we're still going to uh, keep watching it. I'll try and upload it on, yep. you know, YouTube side of the things when season three comes out. Hopefully it does better. But yeah, so far out Fingers of all crossed. the shows that I've tried on YouTube, I think I've tried the hardest to make ReZero work and it just sadly doesn't. It, it... And that's so interesting why ReZero wouldn't work on his channel because like what? Overlord does well, right? It's not like his channel isn't like an isekai channel, right? Like Overlord, no game, no game, no life. No, yeah, it's an isekai, but it's not like the type of isekai that I'm thinking about. It's just fascinating how it doesn't work on his channel. What does his, what does his audience want? And I have no idea how he curates his shows, right? I, I think that he used to always do polls, and I literally copied my content strategy off of this guy, where I was like, all right, let's see. Uh, I, I noticed that this channel literally doesn't give a fuck about most weekly shows. He only picks, like, a couple outliers that's really popular, but for the most, he's just, like, doing his own thing, right? So I'm like, oh, that's interesting how you can just watch old shows and your channel can grow, but ReZero just does not resonate with this channel. It just didn't, and there's... There's only so much I can do, right? But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, uh, check out Kick if you want to come watch these streams live. I've been pretty much streaming every single day uh, for, you know... I mean, ReZero is a power fantasy. There are moments of it, right? It's not like it's devoid of power fantasy. There's plenty of that, but there's also a lot of suffering that needs to be done to get to that point. While now, and we still have a subathon going on, so I still got a lot of uh, time to go. And we're also watching movies, uh, we're watching anime, a lot of the stuff that you guys don't even see on the uh, YouTube side of the channels. And today we're actually going to be playing the Genshin Impact playthrough alongside with Hankai uh, Star Rail Impact as He's well. Going so to again, if you want to come check huh? it out, link down in the description, come check it out. And I'll see you in the next one. Again, apologies for everybody that was looking forward to it. If you want, you could check out Patreon again.
maybe I'll try and see if I can, because I do have uh, almost the full season one of ReZero edited. I might maybe put it on YouTube membership for those of you guys that are members on YouTube. That's the other shitty thing is like, guess what? <laughs> guess what? Assassination Classroom Episode 8 has already been edited and, and, and uploaded onto YouTube, right? On the YouTube side, you know, obviously there's early access on Twitch and Patreon, right? Assassination Classroom will be done as soon as, you know, Fate is done, right? And Fate's almost done right now. But here's the thing. You've already paid money and you've already made these videos. And if they do bad, you're fucked. You know what I mean? So, Verniel, like, bro, he, up, he already had all these videos edited out. You've already spent the money, the money's gone, and then it does bad, what do you fucking do with it? It's just like, that's the really shitty thing, where you've invested the money into it, and there's no payoff. In fact, there's negative payoff. It seems like people fucking hate it the more you upload that content. Again, don't sign up on YouTube membership expecting early access and stuff for this, but I, you know, it's, YouTube membership is mainly just to help support me. But I think since I already have those videos edited, I might post it for YouTube yeah, members. Uh, but main, uh, you know, thingy is Patreon. Again, if you want to watch the full uncut content, because not only do you get ReZero, you get all the other shows and movies and everything that I've done, as well as full playthroughs and everything as well. Yeah, aside from that, bye. Have a good day. Take care. Stay safe. I love you guys. I hope you guys understand. No hard feelings. I swear to God, he's done three separate outros. He said bye like three times and he's still going. And the, the video still got a little bit more left. Try again, but I'm loving Rezo. I think it's a 10 out of 10 show, uh, show so far. Season one, beautiful. And I hope Based. Now, now, let's see this. This is, the, this is the fun part. 116 idiots disliked this video because they're mad. And I'm ashamed of the fucking Rezero community. If you're truly Rezero enjoyers, you would think that they have a little bit of a higher intellect compared to other anime fandoms and could understand something as simple as this, but let's see if there's any. Hey! I know this guy. This guy is always on my channel too. Um, probably because ReZero is a series that is best watched in one go, so people are probably waiting for you to finish the season before- Nope. Absolutely fucking not. This is what I hate the most. This kind of shit pisses me off so much because now the monkeys who are- unaware, who are ignorant, comment shit, then other idiotic monkeys then pile onto it, liking it, giving fake signals. What about my channel, huh? I literally have been doing an episode of ReZero since August till now for two fucking months, and every day we've been popping off with ReZero content. This has nothing to do with it. The source of the problem is that fundamentally his audience does not resonate with ReZero. It's just that simple. At least that's what I was doing. It's a fucking reaction channel. It's a fucking reaction channel. Yep. No, he's saying as a consumer. He's one of those consumers that watches it in one go. ReZero is a hard show to sit back and wait for next episodes. I know it's not what a content creator wants to hear. That goes to show how good a series... Nah, I, I, again, this has nothing to do with it. You are an outlier. That does not fucking matter. Nah, below, we don't want it to end, but it is what it is. Appreciative. Man, I was excited, blah, blah, blah. More glaze, glaze. Crazy how this video got more views than all the ReZero reactions and oh. Guys, this kind of comment. That exists in my channel too. Remember those videos where I dunked on our last crusade? Where we had to drop it and we made a drama video studying the fall off and it got more views. Motherfucker. Fate Zero as well, right? Fate Zero as well. I can't believe how delusional my monkeys are, right? In this video, motherfuckers are also commenting, damn, this, vi this shit's gonna get more fucking views than fucking Fate Zero, bro. <laughs> and they're not wrong. They're not wrong. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't even know you started watching ReZero up until this video is up. If I knew, I would watch it in a heartbeat. More people, and, and here's the thing. This person, he's not really at fault because that's how the YouTube system works. People don't go actively into different people's channels to seek out a video. You know how people seek out content? They literally hit the home page and then they see, right? They just see random fucking comments, videos, right? This is how you get the most views. I'm sorry. This is like the most, uh, if, uh, the most popular way. The, how the majority of consumers just like click onto videos. They don't go to independent channels and check out the content. So what does that mean? This person didn't even get ReZero shit com uh, recommended because the videos are doing bad and it wouldn't get recommended to that audience. Fucking sad. Rezero vid 9k. This video 25k Lamau. Just fucking sad. Glaze! Glaze! Kaka's Rezero's reactions are fire! Ooh!
he understands Razor deeply and connects with it. He even told us some personal stuff about himself, which made him feel sorry for what the protagonist of Razor was going through. We love him. I guess Neil's personality doesn't suit Razor. Come on, man. Come on, man. This like buying a fucking Big Mac from a McDonald's and you go to a fucking Wendy's and you fucking sit down and eat that fucking burger and tell everybody, wow, McDonald's burger so nice. Listen, I appreciate the glaze, but have some tact. No one wants to hear <laughs> other creators getting glazed while at the same time, a backhanded comment here. Like, come on, man. Have some fucking awareness. I appreciate the glaze, but like, you're not doing me a service. <laughs> come on, man. Let's see. Anything else? To be fair, your upload schedule of user was very poor. If you upload one episode each day, it would have performed 50x better. Now, there is probably some truth to this, but a quant a value of 50x multiplier is just cap, right? Simply doing a daily upload doesn't just like fix shit. Like again, my fate zero content is some of the fucking most average performing shows. But I, I again, I am pretty sure that someone brigaded the polls. That's why fate zero seemingly is doing bad, even though it, it's doing all right. It's just it's doing all right. But simply doing daily uploads does not guarantee that your videos are going to start doing well. No. Again, if you just keep daily uploading L's like that, it's just gonna send more fucking worse signals. It doesn't work that way. Did you remember that time? <laughs> yeah, 10 story got dropped in the Oh no. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking for fucking stupid comments to dunk on. So he just doesn't care about the ones that are watching the video. What? So he just don't care about the ones that are. Okay, the English share is broken, but I'm pretty sure he's trying to say that Neil doesn't care about ReZero. What, 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 does that, what does that fucking mean? Like, what, what does this fucking mean, bro? I mean, your update schedule for ReZero has never been consistent. I have no clue what his update schedule has been, but I'm not gonna... I, I don't think he's uploading one episode every other three weeks, right? Uh, how'd you lose money from uploading a video? <laughs> you fucking idiot. Do you think, like, what do you think an editor is for? What do you, what, isn't the small revenue better than no revenue? Again, they're just ignorant. They're just unaware, right? How do you lose money from uploading a video? You fucking paid money to get that video out. If it took $30 to make a video, but that video makes like $10, aren't you minus 20? Hello? And then beyond that, remember what I told you about opportunity cost, but in a negative way, right? Every L video you make is substituting a dub video. Meaning, there is this intangible value associated with it. Who knows how much opportunity cost he's losing out on, right? For every dud video, it could have been another banger that could have been compounding the momentum with more, you know, um, audience members and community members that wants that shit. In the future, maybe he'd be doing way better compared to a future where he focused on just sticking to these fucking mid-performing shows. Like, come on, think about it. But again, I just, they're not creators. They're just, they're just ignorant. Razer currently has the best views to like ratio on this channel, which means that this is a funny thing, right? And views to like ratio is not an absolute metric that is portraying that it's a good video, right? If a video hit for 100k, but it only got like, you know, like a thousand likes, who gives a fuck? You hit 100k views. It means that there's a lot of fucking tourists. It was wide appealing. That's a good thing. But at the same time, if you're, you know, if you've gotten a video and it does really fucking bad, but there is more of a vocal minority that are actively supporting it, even though the views to like ratio is good, it means that the ReZero fans are there, but not to the scale that it needs to be there, huh? That's actually crazy because the series is really good. I agree, man. Let's see. As you already watched most of the popular animes, I think getting more views for different animes will be tougher moving on. No, it's not really this. It's, it's not really that. It's, a, it's because of the way that he procured this anime because I'm sure he's trying ReZero because it's a trend, right? Because October season three is going to fucking drop. So, of course, you, you want to captivate on trends, but that doesn't really mean that the audience voted in, right? That's why, like, I've had a pretty good procurement, right? And you're going to laugh. People are laughing. Index fans are laughing. 6,000 votes, 42. This is just going to bang. I have faith. It's going to do around 2K views per video. And that's honestly performing very well for my current size and channel, right? Every video has been fucking procured through the audience. But sometimes you try to fucking brute force it in and turns out your audience doesn't fucking give a fuck about the show. And this 
Uh, Fate Zero just fucking, they, they brigaded this shit. They, they brigaded this shit. Tanya was stolen, but it doesn't really matter at this point. YouTube algorithm sucks. For it to work, you'll have to literally exploit it. Not necessarily exploit it, but you need to understand the game you're playing. And if you're not understanding the rule set or the game you're playing, then you're fucking wasting your time, right? I saw one perfectly balanced YouTuber with no exploits who knows this kind of stuff. You have to bend down to YouTube instead of YouTube bending to you. It's not bending down to YouTube. Again, you have the wrong perception. People think that this algorithm is this some um, omniscient god, right? That just does whatever it wants. No, replace the word algorithm with audience and everything starts to make sense. Neil's audience doesn't care about ReZero. Him making ReZero content is just not going to work. He just needs to figure out what his audience wants and try that. It makes sense why ReZero wouldn't work in this channel. Not necessarily because his audience may not like that kind of show, but because, again, this is not a pulled show. You fucking ran it down mid because in October, season 3 is going to come out. Everyone wants to captivate on the trend. Reason cure my erectile dysfunction. Okay, then. One Punch Man is a 10 out of 10 react. Why are you talking about One Punch Man? We're talking about ReZero right now. Hey, Nick. The algorithm is really not working well because the only thing I see on your channel are the long uploads, not the individual ones. The individual ones don't even appear for me, which is weird. YouTube is probably bugged, and I'd contact YouTube direct. <sighs> how do you comment this shit? Like, how do you how do you comment this shit? Like, a st <laughs> you gonna call it Mr. YouTube? Hey, the CEO of YouTube. I need Mr. YouTube on the line, just like the fucking idiots that th that thought like we need to call Mr. Mihoyo in China. Because the Genshin Impact devs, they're just making these, these, um, these waifus too fucking light tone. What do you think is gonna happen, bro? It's not, YouTube isn't bugged. Again, it's this simple. His audience does not resonate with the content. Every video of Reaser he makes does not get recommended because it's not popping off. And you are not getting those videos recommended because it's poor performing. It's that simple. It's not bugged. You're an honest man, but I don't think you should explain any everything. Instead, just upload what you want without having a pressure. Don't go to the burnout path, brother. This is a pretty good comment. Yeah, I think there's some value to this. I like to explain to my audience what's going on, though. Right? I, I like to at least uh, let them understand why it's happening. Because there's always going to be these fucking stupid kids that's going to be crying. Like, why aren't you uploading this shit? For season three, the episodes have to go up the same day as release or at least one day late. Else, you will lose a lot of traction or at least you do not get the most out of it. There is some truth and falses here. So what this guy doesn't understand is he views every view as the same thing. But here's the reason why this is kind of true. This is kind of true because his core audience doesn't care about ReZero. But there are tourists, right? There's an active ReZero community that are looking for that content. And if you're early, then, you know, it's definitely going to help get that audience. For me, none of that shit fucking matters. It doesn't matter if you're early. It matters about what your audience is doing. I never cater to tourists. Sometimes I will with specific projects, but for the most part, if your audience cares about it, that's all that fucking matters. Lol, this video perform- Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything else? You losing subs because of this- Oh, this is the fucking idiot. You are an- You're a stupid monkey. And you're dumbass. Yeah, yeah, what, what else? You, you are a stupid monkey. And- I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'll just say this. Let's read this. <laughs> yeah, I've been a little bit too mean. I've been really mean on YouTube. Listen, like, I lash out against my audience. Now I'm like, the YouTube is like, hey, stop saying monkey. Okay. Okay. About this. How about, how, how, how about these monkey emojis, huh? Jesus, what the hell is happening here? You losing subs. Because of this, you only care about money. What did I say? What did I say that there's going to be an idiot like this? You losing sub because of this, you only care about money. I love your reaction, but you stopped reacting to my favorite anime slot. See? See? Idiots. This dude has a personal grudge because Neil Desai decided to drop slime because it was performing bad on his channel. And then there's these selfish monkeys that show up 
because they only care about what they wanted from the creator. And the moment that the creator starts delivering on that content in which you were a minority on, they come up with this dumbass logic of you only care about money. You don't actually care about the anime. No. It's his audience that doesn't care about it, but I don't blame you because you are, you're just stupid. You're in this fucking video. Do you remember that time I got reincarnated as a slime? This is crazy. He literally commented, he commented twice on this video. Once saying, do you remember that slime video? And then he fucking says it every video. Like what a fucking idiot, bro. What an absolute unga boonga dumbass. Like, Shit, like, people like him are and just the bane of just the YouTube comment section. I told, I mean, I literally sifted through the comment section telling you guys that there's gonna be an idiot like this. And I love to dunk on them with pure logic because they have no idea what they're talking about. You stopped reacting to my favorite anime slime for no reason. What do you mean no reason? He literally explained to you and... Only going to read the comments of paid people, and I know he's not going to read my comments. No, don't worry. I will read your fucking dumbass monkey comment to just crucify you. But I'm more loyal than him, so this is my reason to unsubscribe this motherfucker. And if you keep up, you're gonna lose all subs one day. Oh no! Volga Gaming 6422 has left the channel. What's Neil Desai gonna do? Don't let the fucking door hit you on the way out, retard. What an absolute idiot. A stupid child that has no understanding of how this game works. Neil is literally doing the one strategy that is preventing him from losing, quote unquote, losing his subs. And this idiot is on the fucking ground crying, throwing a tantrum. No single sign of intellect or logic being presented here. A stupid kid that only wanted slime reactions. Neil drops slime because his audience doesn't care for it. And this idiot comes in projecting his stupidity and insecurity. I just, it just it's, it's unreal. It, it's actually unreal. Like, like, remember, remember what I told you guys, right? Remember the IQ distribution chart. As the IQ gets higher and the population of monkeys, this retard is literally here. It's just, think about how stupid the average person is and understand half of them are even worse than that. And you'll start to realize why I am so tilted and why I'm so blackpilled in handling content creation. Like I never coddle my audience. I immediately call them out on their bullshit. I don't fucking deal with this shit because this is the kind of cancer you're gonna fucking, you know, have in your swamp. You need to fucking ban them immediately, bro. Immediately. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm a talk. I'm a little toxic. Just a little. Oh, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this little fucking cut. <laughs> little panda. I'm a little toxic. Just a little. Okay. I'm never watching your stuff again. This is getting ridiculous. I'm tired of getting invested in you. Just stopping the series for YouTube. No wonder people drop your stuff again. It's not him dropping. It's that his audience didn't care for it, and he's literally catered. Okay, again, these people are so fucking stupid. I need to draw an, I need to draw an actual fucking graph, bro. These, these people are so fucking stupid. If you consider this the overall audience of Neil Desai, right? Every ReZero video he's doing, it's catering towards like this. While a wider audience is like, what the fuck? Where is my content, right? This is the people that don't give a fuck about ReZero. This is a people that do give a fuck about ReZero and you're telling me that like you want him to cater towards these while these people are like, what the fuck is going on? Like, how are you that stupid? How? You're projecting your stupidity onto this. You understand nothing about the problem statement or the logic in hand. You're a dumb child that has no idea and now I'm going to make fun of you to make money off of you. Let's see. Uh, no wonder people drop your stuff. Why would people stick with it and put time investment when it always you do this? Again, you're stupid. You have no understanding of what's going on. A lot of people also wait for the full season to be done. Nope, apps doesn't matter. That logic, I fucking hate it. The, what, the, the other thing that I hate is like dumbasses backseating how the YouTube game works. That shit will, oh, that, that shit always fucking pisses me off. Cause like, it's the blind leading the blind. This does not fucking matter. If 
the point of make or break on a performance is due to this audience group, which is such an outlier that only binges after a season's done. No, that does that has nothing to do with it. Look at any other fucking series that's been done on his channel or mine. And with how often you drop stuff, will be like that. As, well, what does this mean? Often you drop stuff, people will be like that with you as I will from now on. If I even watch your stuff again, you can listen to this feedback or listen to the people mindlessly feeding ego up to you again. Again, you're so stupid. This is not constructive criticism. You have no understanding of how the algorithm works. You are a monkey that is projecting your own stupidity and insecurity onto the fucking channel. And people like Nick has to fucking deal with this shit. He's actually fucking stupid. He's actually fucking stupid. I see where you're coming from, but what you forgot is that I never said I dropped this show. I'm still watching it on streams and Patreon. Second, there's a reason why my channel has survived this long, unlike other reaction channels. True. This man's been doing it for a long time. He knows his content strategy is good. My man has been doing this for like, what, five plus years, right? Like, this dude has no fucking clue what's happening. But they speak with such confidence. That's the thing I fucking hate. It's that these idiots, these mouth-breathing just byproducts of mistakes have all the rights as you online to type some dumb shit and nick is such a kind person that like he will literally <laughs> explain this shit you know what i'm calling him i'm literally calling him a retard monkey after i make a video on him then ban him that's what i do let's see anything else anything else to be, to be honest, the Reezer video long was the first long video I've ever watched, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Why would you move to kick? Your subathon was after the kick on Twitch. 70-30 uh, split. 70-30 split. What the fuck is happening here? It's, it's, it's simple. Twitch takes 70% of the fucking cuts to the subs on subathon. Why would you fucking lose out on the 20%? It, it, it's that simple. What, 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 are you, what are you fucking talking about? Schizo fucking ranting here. Let's see. Reason your reaction chapters actually have more views from episode 14 to 21? No, no, never listen to this. Never listen to comments like this. These are people that are coping and huffing, and maybe there's going to be a slight higher viewership, but not significant enough. Listen, if the, if, the, if the series is doing bad, that's it. There is no future. The audience doesn't exist. It's not magically going to do well out of fucking nowhere. And again, I just hate these idiots that backseat and then for other idiots to believe in the delusions, it's just the worst. Let's see. You must upload episode 15, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. It, episode 15 would probably get a lot of views, for sure. It's, it's, it's one of those outlier exceptional episodes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything else? Cringe. YouTubers like you should not touch ReZero, bro. I know this motherfucker. This motherfucker comments on my videos too. You are an embarrassment. To the ReZero community. And I hope you never watch my videos either. This motherfucker, I've seen this motherfucker comment in so many videos. Bell 17. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, dude. For sure you're this cute Asian girl. You're Fucking catfishing! You're a dumb little child catfishing. You're you're a random Russian or Ukrainian dude catfishing as a fucking K-pop girl online, talking shit on random fucking channels about ReZero. You watch so many of my videos, you comment on my shit too. How what a fucking embarrassment, bro. What an absolute embarrassment. Let's see. What a, what a nice comment. What a nice comment. But I'm not looking for nice comments. I'm looking for fucking idiots to dunk on. Uh, no, it's not due to people like you. Binging audience that has no impact on the significance on, like, if you raise your viewership. Let's see. Wow. Thought you were finally sorry for your lies. But <laughs> we got another one, boys. Yo, I don't think Neil is, like, moderating his channel or banning people at all. Like, what is up with this swamp of idiots? Wow, thought you were finally sorry for your lies about your uploads. Oh, lies. If you get enough likes and the saddest thing is you already got the footage and you're too lazy to upload it or just upload the thing you get the most money out of. Oh, it's just, you're so stupid. You 
have no understanding that it takes money to edit a video, that it also occupies a slot for potentially good video. You have no understanding of how this game works. You are a schizo fucking mental or patient. Take your meds. Let's see. I was mad about this at first, but you made some great points that I can't even be mad anymore. Wow, this is rare. This is so rare. Holy. It's, it's crazy that this person has actually watched the video because like most retards typing shit like this, they don't watch the video. They're not, they're not, and even if you gave them the logic, they're not going to be convinced. They have, they're haters from the beginning. They don't care about the logic, but people like this is extremely rare where they actually watched the video, understood the explanations and there it is. <laughs> Why is that trash getting season three? Oh shit, ReZero is getting, oh shit, what's happening? It is very cheap, wanna be freedom. There you have it, boys. There you have it, we got him. You know, I, I, you know what? ReZero is fucking garbage. I've been thinking recently about why we even like this show. They're right, it's a fucking cheap freedom copy, man. Oh my God, you have shown me the light. ReZero is a freedom clone. This guy might be just as smart as this guy. Remember this dude? Wait, 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 wait. Where's that fucking video, bro? Remember the video we made? Uh, the rage bait guy? What? God, I upload too many fucking videos. Where the fuck is that video? This dude. Frieden is an isekai and copies Naruto. Remember this shit? Maybe that guy was cooking. Maybe that guy truly was fucking cooking, man. Silver hair doesn't make the show out of what? That silver hair is a simple phenotype trait of a half-elf girl for Emilia. Has nothing. What? What do you mean automatically good? Thank you, Gazu man, for the two-month tier one man. This show is overhyped by bots made by fans from my anime list, and people thought that Sword Art Online was bad. They should watch a reason to change their minds. <laughs> Just remember, just remember, just, 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 every time we read dumbass shit like this, remember this, just, just remember this chart, okay? Just, just remember this chart, just remember the distribution curve of the average intellect, okay? Just, and everything starts to make sense, okay? Neil, you know better what's better for the channel, don't worry. I think most people can understand your decision. Absolutely, right? What a level-headed take, very smart person. And um, there's more people that definitely understand, right? There's definitely way more people that understand. And we are reading the basically the vocal minority, right? The people that comment, people that are happy aren't commenting shit, right? They know, they simply move on. It's the fucking idiots that comment. It's the vocal minority. That's why it seems, that's why it seems like there's a magnifying glass on the hate here. Let's see. Any other idiots? Uh... I think Kaka is stealing all the reason here right now. To shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. If you were truly an enjoyer of my content, you wouldn't post this dumb shit here. Like it it it, it, it it's just so fucking embarrassing. Like this is the level like I feel like, I feel like I have to fucking apologize to Neil, right? Because these are my monkeys. These are my retards that are fucking... And that's what happens, right? Like, I can try my best to moderate as best as I can. But, like, at a certain point, these idiots are going to start spilling out to, like, other people's, like, content. It's going to get worse, right? It, and a lot of creators, we talk behind the scenes, right? A lot of other creators, like, we talk behind the scenes, like, we, we, don't worry, like, it's, like, he, he's not gonna read this comment and, and become, like, we're not gonna start drama, but it's just unfortunate that he has to read this dumb shit spilling over from my retards. Let's see. The thing with ReZero, there were already so many reacted to it, nope, has nothing to do with saturation, has nothing to do with it. Like, me, myself, ain't interested watching someone react to it, nope, has nothing to do with it. You are a simple tensor monkey that got tensor dropped and you have no understanding. Nope, has nothing to do with it. Saturation does not fucking matter. It doesn't matter how saturated the field is, if your content is actually good and if your audience resonates with that content and aligns to it, you can pop off. Doesn't matter. 
So what you're telling me is you're not reacting for... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Another fucking retard. So what you're telling me is you're not reacting for the only purpose of reacting and show us good content, right? You did it for the views! You only care about the money! <sighs> here we go. Again, the views are a byproduct of understanding who your audience is. The more views there are, it means that you've done a good job making content for your audience. If the views fall off, it means that you are now not catering touring this, but catering towards this, you fucking idiot. And him dropping the minority to satisfy the majority is the selfless, most selfless thing someone can do. To drop a show they enjoy to satisfy the majority is literal selfless behavior. You are fucking stupid. You're so stupid! And oh, just, oh, just, this pisses me off. You're so stupid. No wonder you channel has literal no fucking growth. You're not, I don't wanna fucking, I love punching down actually. You know what? Yeah, the reason your channel will never fucking succeed is because you have no fucking understanding of how fucking content creation works. You're a fucking idiot. So fucking stupid. 14 replies, bro. True. Why would people wanna profit from a job? <laughs> Again, people are so generous with other people's time and money. People are so generous with other people's time and money, bro. Well, since YouTube is free for everyone, you don't lose anything. Selfish people really have excuses for everything. This comes from the mindset of a fucking idiot that hates their lives and is stuck to a lifestyle of working a shitty job and get underpaid. And listen, the world is unfair. But the rationale that they make in their mind is that YouTubers should not rely on YouTube to make money. The moment that you depend on YouTube to make money and you do these decisions, then suddenly you're a sellout. No, you are a fucking retard bound by this capitalistic society. You are a loser in every aspect of your life. And because of that, you cope in your own head to rationalize why people watching anime for fucking a living online are doing better than you and you try to fucking criticize. That's literally what's happening. He has to pay the editor to edit reserve videos and if the videos don't do well, there'll be only losses for him. True. Paying someone to do something you could do, that's like a you problem. Again, you're fucking stupid. This is a business, right? This is a business and a business strategy, and he's deciding to do what's better. Like, what's a you problem? No, that's a fucking you problem that you're not going to get the content you want because he's satisfying the majority. What kind of fucking logic is this? I don't know who lied to you, but simple trims in a video doesn't that take much effort or time to do. That kind of editing is so poor, I'll barely clap at his edition, but everyone has their own opinion. It takes like an hour per fucking video. My editor spends like fucking like seven to eight hours, if not more, pumping out fucking content for me. You have no understanding of how content creation works. And again, so fucking generous with other people's time and money. What a fucking idiot. It's time management problem then. No, it's literally, you're just fucking moving the goalpost. You're such an idiot. Holy shit. I'm gonna lose brain cells by reading this fucking comment section. More people, more people. That's glazing, that's glazing. Any other idiots to dunk on? Let's see. Not gonna lie, didn't even know you were reacting to ReZero. It never actually popped up on my feed. Mental and the same shit happened for me with Fate Zero as well. Even though they're Fate Zero enjoyers because the performance does bad, it's not gonna get recommended. It's that easy. Let's see. Anything else? Anything else? I don't understand how you lose money like that. Again, a fucking idiot that doesn't watch the video. Just watch the video. It's a five minute video. He answers everything. So stupid. Just, just, just remember, just, just, just this graph, just, this graph, just this graph, bro. Let's see. How did this video gain 24Q views? It makes a lot of sense because this kind of video is something that is accessible to everyone, right? You don't have to have to be a ReZero fan to watch it. Haters alike can watch the video and it's just accessible content. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Bro is always punning, putting money first. I can't stand this type of people. Oh, <laughs> it's just fucking stupid. Again. So generous with other people's money. It's like, you get the free content all the time, you glaze, glaze. The moment the creator literally tries to, you know, prioritize his channel and growth by maintaining their audience's interest, the fucking monkeys all come out of the woodshed, right? Just so stupid. So, so stupid. I think maybe the reason is because Reezer is very depressing and has negative feeling. No. It has nothing to do with that, but there is some truth in terms of what ReZero kind of story is and the audience that he's collected and that audience not liking that kind of story. And that is absolutely correct.
Anything else? Anything else? Come on. It's not that famous of an anime to begin with. You're so fucking stupid. You, you, you. <laughs> ReZero is not a famous anime to begin with. Most watched anime 2016 global map. What's the orange color? And what does the orange color mean? Fucking idiots, bro. Actually, so stupid. So stupid. It's not that famous of an anime, for sure. For sure. Bro told you it wouldn't work on YouTube. No, no. You're, you're a stupid kid that's just trying to sneak in your suggestions in. Shut the fuck up. Don't forget to watch the movies. Frozen Bond of Memory Snow is great. ReZero fans are getting gaslighted by Shonen fans into thinking that ReZero is bad and this is the result. Wait up! Wait! ReZero fans are getting gaslighted by Shonen fans into thinking that ReZero is bad and this is the result. Yes. I think that this is the assumption that I have for uh, Neil Desai's channel as well. He, his most popular videos, right? If you look at his channel, um, most of his content is quite often Shonen content, right? There is some Isekai content that does pop off, but even Slime did bad for his channel, right? I think that his, he has a very, um, like an opposite audience to me, right? For me, I can't get into Shonen. It's really hard for me to get into Shonen, but Isekai, I eat that shit up. For Neil, he pops up with Shonen, but Isekai might not be the same. We're kind of like yin and yang in that aspect. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Just a random fucking Barney Girl Senpai. Uh, your Genshin Impact reaction is bombing though? For sure it is. There isn't an audience for season one and two. You were three years late. Again, has nothing to do with it. You have no understanding of how anime reaction content works on YouTube. And I hate it when people fucking backseat with misinformation. It has nothing to do with how old an anime is. Old anime can pop off in your channel if your audience wants it. Literally, the animes that we're watching, like in Neil for as well, right? Oh my fucking. By the way, this is Amelia's mom, if you don't know. This is Amelia's mom. Theory. Yep. But that's what's happening. Anything else? Don't drop ReZero, Neil. You're the only one who I know could better react to it. Just watch Eden Zero bring in a lot of views. I bet it would, right? It's a shonen, shonen, shonen content, right? If, what can you do if people don't like the show? You move on. You just move on. Let's see. Personally, ReZero is a show where I can only watch certain episodes. And while that may be true, you're not indicative of the greater audience. You're an outlier. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Any other idiots that I want to dunk on? Nah, most people are pretty kind people that are very understanding. That's exactly what I hate. Oh, here we go. Another fucking idiot. Here's another idiot. That's exactly what I hate about YouTube or any social media. All the big streamers who already get rich. Money shoved up their ass like millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, small YouTubers get nothing or just very little money. It's still viewed as a job even though if someone new started YouTube, they get zero dollars instead of blah, blah, blah. What are you talking about right now? You are going off a schizo tangent about how life is unfair, that big content creators are making a lot of money. I have no understanding if you're calling Neil Desai a millionaire, if you're calling him a small creator. What the fuck does I even talk about? Take your pills. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gok Gok 3. Well, okay, sure, why not? Where's the slime episodes? You, you fucking check the community post. Even I, that doesn't even watch his content because I'm too busy making my content, understand what's fucking going on there. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I kind of don't understand. So basically, I can watch season two reaction Spain. Just, 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 just watch the fucking video! Watch the video! He explains it! Fucking Christ. Anyone else? What, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Uh, YouTube algorithm really makes no sense. Okay, here we talk about Let's talk about this. YouTube's algorithm literally makes no sense. For me, at least. It's the oldest series that I like to see reaction for. Tense Circle and Super Fairy Tale, blah, blah, blah. For new releases. Yeah, 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 sure. I want to watch it by myself before anyone with reaction. So thank you for the uh, debate. Uh, no, again. YouTube algorithm is very simple. It's extremely simple. You know how it's done? In the beginning, you are a blank template. In the, in the beginning... You are a blank template like this. And the best thing you can do for yourself as a blank template is the one-trick pony. Here's my second channel. And the second channel is getting more viewership on average than my main channel. You know why? Even though it's only 2.35k views. It's not because my main channel is carrying this channel. No. Completely separate audience. Because this channel is only about Beyblade. And when you start a new channel, the most important thing is how... Are you going to 
color your template, your blank slate. I decided Beyblade. And every video that I put out after popping off with the opening reactions, which are accessible content everyone can watch, the YouTube algorithm has deemed your content, your, your algorithm, your audience as the Beyblade audience. And all you have to do is just make Beyblade content. And the more, every time you do that, the algorithm gets great signals. Every video pops off and it's so fucking easy to scale up. This is the same concept as One Piece only channels, Naruto only channels, Bleach only channels, these one trick pony channels. And this is the thing I talk about how the game of anime reactions on YouTube is so counterintuitive to what YouTube inherently wants because it's better to be as focused into one specific topic as possible. But here's the thing. My second channel is fucking all over the place. And while it's gotten definitely better recently because I've studied off of Neil's channel, I've studied off of your boy brother's channel, right? Back then, all I do is react to random fucking weekly shows that has no fucking, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, it, like, what I'm doing here is basically this, right? If this is my main channel of what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing with my, uh, with, uh, sorry, if this is my second channel, right, Kaka TV 2 where it's so focused, this is what I'm doing with my main channel. I am fucking shit up by having Isekai audience here, right? Maybe some rom-com audience, random fucking shows. It's, it's all scattered. It's all scattered, right? Notice how on the left side for main channel, it's all Beyblade. But on the main channel, there's so many different topics. There's Isekai audiences, rom-com audiences. There's like, like so many different genres. And when you do this, you're going to eventually fragment your audience, right? That's what it's happening. That's why on my main channel, right? The average viewership is lower than the second channel, but there is pros of having such horizontal investment into a main channel compared to a vertical investment in the second channel. I only upload one video a day on the second channel as vertical investment, but the main channel, I'm uploading like 10 videos a day, and it's become a variety channel where I'm not dependent on Beyblade to grow. And this channel is tricky because once Beyblade dries up, I need to make those people into community members by polling and making them loyal to me. People are now watching me for me rather than Beyblade. And that's what's happened on the main channel. I can make topics on whatever the fuck I want. And it's going to do well. Why? Because I have united the monkeys in my channel over the last two years. And now we're at this place where, again, even if the average viewership per video is not good, my channel will not die because it's so diverse. It's so variety content. It is literally modeled after Asmongold TV. That's it. This motherfucker just goes live. He just fucking yaps and he projects his worldview and people love the commentary and he's, and he's farming every fucking day. I'm literally him, but only for anime content, right? That is the difference between the main channel, horizontal investment, second channel, vertical investments. And you not understanding the YouTube algorithm is because you're not a creator, but I've explained to you how this shit works. Pick a fucking topic, stick to it. And it turns out, Neil Asai's content, his audience does not resonate with the ReZero content, right? It's that simple. It's, the YouTube game is actually so fucking simple. But it's not easy. It's not easy. But conceptually, it's very simple. Is there, any, is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? Nah? I'll let you in on an insider in food. Neil says Roro Nora Zoro one two three. Oh shit! Abhishek Venkat has he, he? It's 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 the secret fucking uh mafia, bro. It, it, it's 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 the it's it's that. Wait, shit, shit, shit. Come on. Where'd the comment go? Where'd the comment go? Where'd the comment go? Sorry, sorry. sorry. I fucking lost it. it. It's 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 him. Roro Nora Zoro. There it is. <laughs> I'll let you in on an insider secret, Neil. The Razier community is well connected. And after watching the first episode, we of the council <laughs> have decided that your reactions are not the core, but the core Razier community wants. And we stopped watching you. <laughs> Ain't no way you type in this shit. Seriously, there's no way. There is no fucking way. <laughs> you cannot be a grown adult typing. <laughs> you can't. 
I didn't know that there was a secret cabal, bro. A secret fucking like, what's it called? Like the Illuminati behind the scenes. There's a secret Discord server, guys. There's a secret Discord server, man, where where it's like, oh, a brand new anime reaction channel for ReZero has shown up. Shall the council vote on whether or not it shall be accepted to the YouTube audience? What a bunch of fucking idiots. First of all, his audience and your community, there is no overlap. Your, your Discord server, right? Your, 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 your Discord server has like this many people. And there is no overlap with Neil's audience over here, right? Your little Discord server with a bunch of ReZero injured. You, you're not even getting those videos recommended. You're... <laughs> It's just, I hope this is a sarcastic comment. I thought it was quite cordial. Embarrassing. Boy, there, there is, I, I think we're going to end. I think we're going to end the video here. My, I'm, my, I'm getting more CTEs. The, the more videos, the, the more comments I read, my brain truly trembles. Noka furueru. And... That's it, man. Hope you learned a little bit more about how the YouTube algorithm works for anime reaction channels. At the end of the day, chasing views and the money, that's simply the byproduct of understanding who your audience is. If a video does bad, you're making videos for an audience that does not exist. And you are fucking over the audience that does exist. The game of YouTube is to cull low-performing series, make videos that your audience wants to watch, and simply you will grow like that. And these retards, I hate them, but I also love them because I can just make content like this where I roast them for a fucking hour, bro. People are going to think this video is so funny because this is a five minute video from Neil, but I spent an hour just roasting these idiots because Neil is too kind of a person, right? He's not me. He's not a fucking egotistical, narcissistic maniac that's going to go read every comment and just roast them, but I will for the content. That's it for me. Bye-bye.